welcome to Propa's Top 10 Korean Songs of August 2021. Got 10 great songs for us to talk about and show you a little snippet of each one. So we're going to start off with number 10. So for number 10, we got Summer or Summer by Hyorin and Dasom, both previously two members of Sistar. So the Summer Queens are back. Sistar always came out with Summer Bops, and Hyorin and Dasom team up to bring those Summer Bops back once again. So the cool thing is this video, music video is reminiscent of their earlier summer songs, with lost shots of the beach and traveling in a tropical area. I'm sure you get the picture, because that's what they used to do all their music videos for their Summer Bops. A highlight of the song is the summery feel to the refrain, which every good Sistar Summer song had. Next up we have number 9, which is Promise by Everglow. So Promise by Everglow is number 9, and I love how upbeat and hopeful the song sounds. In some ways, it reminds me of K-pop in the late 2000s where they had a lot of cute slash hopeful themes and songs. Um, as in general K-pop, not Everglow, because Everglow did not exist back then. While the instrumentals are electronic, they don't feel too much or over the top, which is something some K-pop songs do, or it's just way too overpowering, especially for this sort of song. The cool thing about this song is that it's for the UNICEF Promise campaign, so we have to give props to Everglow for making a good song for a good cause. And also, it's just a nice song to listen to. It's sort of comforting, you know, it's very much more of that sort of cute theme to it. So I gotta love it, and the music video is nice, especially where they show a lot of nature shots with the young girl, which is probably why they did it. You know, because this is also part of the campaign, but kudos to them for Promise by Everglow. All right, so now we're on number eight, and it is Davichi's new song, Looking at the Photo. Really excited about this one, so let's take a look. So, looking at the photo by Davichi, this is another quality Davichi song. However, it is very much a typical song by them. If you like soulful vocals with a sad theme to cry to at 3 a.m., then you'll love this because it's yet another post breakup song. And it's very similar to a lot of songs they already have done. So, if you're into that, you'll love it. If you're not, then you're going to think same old Davichi. For instance, in this song, as always, you can hear the pain in the vocals and the usual instrumentals, which includes the strings. Gotta have strings in sad ballads. You would think we could escape the sad ballads in the summer, but Davichi comes out and says, Nope! You're never safe from sad ballads. I mean, it's true. Korean sad ballads go hand in hand. It's just during the summer, we might get a couple more happy ones, you know? But not from Davichi, at least not in this case. We're rolling right along with number 7, Love Story by JVNJ, another ballad group. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, oh no, not another sad ballad. Well, luckily enough, this isn't nearly as sad. So, gotta say, JVNJ is still going strong, and this song is right up their alley and has the usual top vocal quality. I love their voices and how they sing their songs. They're very soothing, but contain a lot of emotions. At the same time, quite the feat, I know. It sort of sounds weird, like what? Soothing and emotions? How? Well, they just managed to do it. <laughs> um, this particular song, Love Story, is highlighted by their amazing vocals. And although it has a fairly upbeat beat and tempo, it has some good instrumental accompaniments that characterizes their song. So it levels out the upbeatness with some um, of the more traditional ballad uh, strings, sort of feel to them and they make this nice mix um not saying this song is sad but a quality you'll see in some of these um ballads which don't sound traditionally sad sort of like sg wannabe-esque is that you'll have songs that sound upbeat that are not necessarily happy but this is not one of them that's just a general aside that little nugget i wanted to give you but anyway so this is love story by gaby and jay very much enjoy their music and this it falls with that uh, interesting enough, this is actually a remake of their own song from way before. Alright, we're almost at the halfway point. At number 6, we got Irrelevant Answer by Lucy. So Irrelevant Answer by Lucy, they're not as a well-known group. And I won't lie, a major reason why I like this song is that I love anime openings and closings, and this song reminds me so much of them. 
Maybe it's because it's a rock band-esque type of song, but I'm just addicted to it. <laughs> it's got some great electric, electric guitar lines, and did anyone else catch the violin? They have a violinist in the group, which I think adds a nice cool layer to it that you normally don't find, but it still meshes with the rest of the band and the song. As I said, it's unique, but it works, so I gotta give kudos to them for that. But also, I don't pay attention as much about themes or lyrics, but for this song I do, because I love the theme where, to me, it sounds like a guy liking a girl, and he's hopeful with staying by her side, even if they aren't lover yet. He's basically willing to take the long game, which I think is interesting to hear in a song. You don't usually hear it either. It's a guy who's always decided to be the friend who's always going to stay by her side and protect her, but he's never going to make the move. But this one, they're like, yeah, I will stay by your side and we'll be friends, but hopefully I can capture your heart as we grow naturally closer over time, which I think is interesting. Um, but I think the instrumentals are great A in the song, and those are the reason why I make the song so enjoyable listening to. Look at that violin go. Wow. We have reached my top five. You must be wondering, what are they? Number five is You Can't Sit With Us by Sun Me. So here we go with You Can't Sit With Us. The thing I love about the song is the 90s vibes, not only from the music video, but the 90s tones and instrumentals, especially in the refrain. You know, it's really hard to describe, but it just feels very 90s with the instruments they chose, the melodies, etc. As always, Sun Me has some great choreo. That's addicting to do while you listen. I don't like dancing really, but Sunmi has some great choreo starting from Gashina. And the choreo, especially refrain for You Can't Sit With Us, does not disappoint in any shape or form. She's able to capture the 90s feels with the song, but she is able to also keep it from being outdated. She keeps it fresh and she makes a stance per usual. It's very much a great stereotypical Sunmi song because she mixes old vibes. She like almost reintroduces them to popular K-pop music and keeps it sort of new and fresh, but it's got the nostalgia still in it. So that's what we think about You Can't Sit With Us by Sunmi. You are going to be so surprised about what is my number four. You never expected it. My number four is Keep Your Head Up by Lee Dong Hui. You were like, what, who? He's an actor, but he was on MSG Wannabe and where he was able to sing and now he just came out with a song. So this is pretty cool. I love his unique voice. It's very unique. And that's part of the reason why I like it. So let's take a look now. So this is Keep Your Head Up. And as I just mentioned, MSG Wannabe has opened new doors for the actor Lee Dong Hui. And this is his new single that came out in August. And as I said, I love unique voices. And he has one, especially singing. So specifically about the song, I love the high tempo and dance feel without it being over the top. It's like it's like a dancey sort of song in a silly way, but it's clearly not a typical K-pop dance song. That makes sense. Um, it's the type of song it is. It's very silly, as I mentioned, but it's the sort of song you like to enjoy on a nice summer day while you're like commuting. You know, it sort of wakes you up and makes you go, oh, okay, a little pep in your step without being over the top. And one thing about the music video I love is how it showcases all these people, all the other members from MSG Wannabe. You've made it to my top three. Three left, I wonder what they are. For number three, we got Thunderous by Stray Kids. So glad Stray Kids has come out with another release that I really enjoy. So, with Thunderous, I love when Stray Kids go hard, and I think they're at their best when they just go hard in the paint, so to speak. Uh, Muto, um, side effects all went hard the entire time. That's what I think is my favorite song, Stray Kids, I think that's when they're the most popular. No, don't get me wrong, they're sort of like soft R&B songs are good, it's just, they're just not the same level. Um, specifically for Thunderous, I really love the EDM brass and the refrain. I think it adds a level of hype that couples perfectly with their deep voices. I also really enjoy the large amount of rapping and chanting they do rather than straight up singing. I think it adds another layer of hardness to it. And I can definitely see this as a workout hype sort of song. And about the music, I love the historical nature of it. I love Sagooks, which are 
historical Korean drama, so I love music videos that sort of take that sort of setting and costumes in their songs. So it's another plus in my book. I like the the sort of transitions between the live action and then they have sort of the comic graphic novel as portion to it. But listen to the song, the song's still so hard. It makes you want to grow with it, like automatically. We've reached number two! And unless you're a fan of Korean like R&B and ballads from way before, you know, the SG Wannabe days, you will not know who this group is most likely, but I am so excited they've come back. Thank you, uh, the show Non Myon Mohani for making that sort of uh, male R&B group. Got SG Wannabe popular again. They showcased VOS on it, etc. All these older vocal groups and there seems to be making a comeback. Um, this genre. So, what is my number two? My number two is Always Be Here by VOS. Yes, they came back and made a new release. I'm super pumped. It's a great song. It's very reminiscent of their old song. So, let's take a listen. So, Always Be Here. It's such a yes moment. I'm loving these old vocal groups coming back, as I said, with new songs. It's been about a decade, decade or more. And VOS have amazing voices. They're very similar to SG Wannabe in that regard. And this song is very similar to their songs during their prime. You know, they have the angelic vocals and they couple it with amazing harmony. The thing about groups like these is it's all about harmony. If they have great harmony, it makes the song so much better. And they have not lost it. They have not lost a step vocally or in their chemistry and be able to have amazing harmony as you can hear in this song. It sounds so, so good. And the refrain especially gives you chills listening to it, especially harmony in it. So I just I could gush for hours about songs like these, but I am so happy they're back. So song happy this song came out in August. Listen to it. It's just so good. It's so soothing. It's so smooth. This is how like Korean R&B is supposed to be, and I was so sad it was gone for so long. But it's back now, and let's hope it stays for a while this time again. Listen to that harmony. Oh, it's so good. That's that's what it's all about. So we're at number one. What could it be? Really, honestly, you're probably thinking he's picking all these non like super popular songs. Vos, Gavin J, Davichi. Who are these groups? Who are these people? His number one's probably not gonna be anyone popular. Well, you are wrong. So so wrong. This is a song was one of the most popular songs in August, one of the rising stars in K-pop. Is she considered rising at this point? I guess maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell. But number one, it's Dum Dum by Somi. So the thing about Dum Dum is I love the theme for the music video. And the refrain itself is incredibly addicting. It gets stuck in your head. Which what is what I considered uh, high remarks and high praise for a K-pop song because the number thing one thing I think about K-pop song it's supposed to be addicting it's supposed to stay stuck in your head and Dum Dum by Soul Me stays in your head. I also really enjoy the choreography. Um, one move in particular is the Batman mask move coupled with the body wave. So as I sort of alluded to earlier, I think Soul Me has mastered how to make a pop song into a hit that is incredibly addicting. It took a few tries for her, but she's done it this time with Dum Dum. My favorite part of the, are actually the verses, because they give an innocent crush feel, which you can see in the music video. It's reminiscent of 2000s, I know. I love the 2000s K-pop. It's light and hopeful, but then I've come to enjoy the contrast with the refrain, which is definitely more modern, more seductive. So the contrast to me is unjarring initially, but if you listen to it enough, you hear how actually they mesh really well, especially in the theme. Let's see, there's the Batman and the body wave, my favorite move. But I think the song is just really addicting and will stay stuck in my head for months and months to come. And I was not initially a Somi fan, so I was been pleasantly surprised with this release. So thank you so much for witnessing Propa's top 10. Korean songs of August 2021. Be sure to comment what you thought your favorite songs were. I know these lists are never exclusive. They're not comprehensive. They don't have every song. I'm sorry. It's my opinion. 
you know, but I'm always up to listening to other people's opinions, especially about what K-pop songs they enjoyed this month. So let me know in the comments what August 2021 releases you enjoyed. Um, also want to say thanks so much, but also this interests you and just Korean pop culture content in general. Be sure to subscribe. Um, also check our Discord out, our Twitch channel, etc. Where we can talk more in depth about these things. But thanks so much and until next time I'll see you for September 2021 releases.